you can't get much more traditional than this recipe for Johnny Cakes. There are two schools of thought about this old recipe. One is that it came from the name Shawnee Cake, which was made by that particular tribe. Others think it was originally called Journey Cake, since it travels well, and it was very easy to make up in the morning and carry with We won't really know, since in 1796, Amelia Simmons published what is considered to be America's first recipe for Johnny Cakes. She called them Johnny Cake or Ho Cake. They taste great, and they're very easy to make. Here's how to do it. I've combined a cup and a half of cornmeal with a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. I've got two cups of boiling water and what I'm going to do is pour it in there. It's simmering pretty good already. I'm going to stir, stir all this together and then in about 10 minutes I'm going to add the milk. After sitting for about 10 minutes, it has solidified into a cornmeal mush. So let's just take and stir this milk into it. And we'll be ready to cook here in just a minute. This is a very easy recipe to do outside. I'm going to use my Camp Chef double burner and this cast iron griddle. Traditionally, this would have been cooked on a hoe, a shovel, or something like that. We're going to use this griddle today just because we've got it available. The oil looks hot enough, so I'm going to ladle out one, and let's see how it goes. Yeah, it appears to be just a little warm. I'm going to turn down the heat just a little. Cooking these is kind of like cooking pancakes. We're going to look at uh, some bubbles coming through hopefully pretty quick here. That'll show it's done. At that point then I'll turn it back and put some more on. Okay, that's not bad for my first one. I'm going to uh, get the griddle temperature kind of stabilized here and then I'll cook a bunch. I'm going to flatten out the uh, Johnny Cakes just a little bit and they can cook a little quicker. During the Civil War, the Confederate soldiers would frequently take a similar mixture to this, mix it up a little stiffer, and wrap it around a musket ramrod and toast it over the fire. These were called ramrod rolls, and uh, I guess they tasted pretty good if you were hungry. Those of you out there watching closely will notice that my uh, oil seems to be running downhill here. It wouldn't hurt to stabilize and actually level out your grill before you start this. You want them to cook about five to ten minutes on each side. Uh, just check out your brown. That'll tell you when they're done. So these look done and I'm going to take them off the griddle. So this is what we came up with from that recipe. You can see there's a good many Johnny Cakes there. There's plenty for breakfast. You can pack them for lunch. And who knows, there might be enough for an afternoon snack. Once they cool off a little bit, they're going to be eh, pretty steady. It's going to look like a cornmeal cookie. You'll be able to eat these plain 
or if you have some maple syrup or honey, you can add that to it. If you've got some butter, that would be great too. You know that the pioneers would have used whatever they had. This was another recipe from survivalcommonsense.com. Thank you for watching. Give this a try. It's really easy and it tastes great.